Okay, how, what are you feeling? What's going on inside right now? Um, I'm really nervous, but I'm so excited to just be here. I think it's just already an honor to be here. And when you got the call to be a part of the show, where were you? I was actually in my car and there was a competition because I sing classically and uh, I didn't do so well and so I was really bummed out. And then um, as soon as I got Wi-Fi at this gas station, I checked the email, I was like, oh my gosh, this, this can't be happening. So you were at a gas station and you find out what was the first thing you did? I like literally screamed. <laughs> <laughs> you screamed out loud. You're like, ah! I finally yeah. like this. It's one door closed, but another open. Right yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah. And so, who was the first person you told? Uh, well, my friend was with me, and like he, like me and him were just like, oh my gosh, this is like, what is happening? <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Now, if you were to put your musical experience on a resume, what would it say? Um, it would say, um, cause I do musical theater, oh. so I've been in musical theater shows, I've done stuff classically, and I've been competing in festivals too, so. So cool. When did you yeah. first start singing? I first started singing, well, professionally, probably at the age of 11 or 12. What were you doing at 11 or 12? I wasn't doing that, singing professionally. <laughs> I was like professionally sitting on a couch. Good for you. <laughs> okay, you. so so you you started singing basically professionally at eleven or twelve. Yeah. Who were some of your first early influences that got you really into music? Um, my first influence would probably have to be Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yes. Favorite Michael Jackson song? Um, favorite Michael Jackson song would probably have to be um, "Man in the Mirror." Oh. oh. I love that one. It's so good. Yeah, it's so Sorry, good. I'm having my own little dance break. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a part of the competition. I'm just here to stand for you. Don't yeah. worry, I'm, I'm not your competition. <laughs> okay, so I read that you, you know, um, you're quite shy. Yeah. And what is it about music that really pulls you out of your shell? Well, you know, I just like, I use it as a release. It's just something that I communicate well with because when I was um, in school, I wasn't really, you know, like popular or anything like that. So it'd just be my getaway. And music just has really helped me with uh, opening up. Well, look at you now. You're on like a massive TV show that's gonna, you know, change the course of your career. Mm -hmm. And um, and obviously it's pulling you out of your shell. And musical theater, I'm sure, has yeah, helped with that too. For sure, yes. Amazing. Um, so, Scott Borchetta. Yes. You know him. Mm -hmm. You know of him. Yes, I know him. Yeah. What do you What do you know about Scott? Because this is basically his. his um, I know he owns like a record label that um, Taylor Swift like works at, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Taylor Swift fan? Yes, Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> 1989. Yeah. So good. Um, and if you could pick a celebrity mentor to mentor you, any celebrity mentor in the world, who would it be? Um. Hmm, maybe like Bruno Mars. Ooh. Yeah. Why? Well, because he has like a high range and I, like he has like a lot of class to be honest. He's just like one of those guys that I would just like enjoy like working with. He and sings. it seems like he knows what he's doing, you know, like as a singer but also as a dancer too. Yeah, he's like a whole. He's a whole package. He's a whole package and he honestly like gets out on stage and just mm -hmm. commands the attention. Yeah. So, cool. Well, um, have fun with this. Thank you Have so much. Have the best much. experience. You're great. That was Thank like, you. was that your first interview? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Plenty more to come from here, darling.